Hi, I want to introduce you to an exciting project I've been working on, uh, which is uh, nearlying fruition. And that is one where I can use um, a Raspberry Pi, which automatically boots up into a program, which lets me control various operations by using the, uh, on the phone, um, the program Telegram, which is on my phone here, if I can start it up. There we are, program Telegram. And we're actually going to use this to send commands to the Pi when it started booting. It's going to boot into the um, graphics user interface because one of the things I want to do is to be able to control Sonic Pi with it. And fortuitously, um, this morning I came across a guy who'd written a Sonic Pi command line interface as a gem project. And using that, I'm going to use that to uh, um, control Sonic Pi. Here it goes, starting up. There's Sonic Pi starting. And it's also starting in a terminal window just behind that, which we can perhaps bring to the front here. Um, the Telegram interface, let's just click on that. Wait to the front, I'll have to wait till the splash screen goes, but it will go uh, in a moment. There it goes. And uh, we've got here the, um, whoops, I don't know where that's come from. We've got there the um, program running for Telegraph, the, the uh, Telegram, the interface there. Now, if we move over to the phone, um, uh, on perhaps on the way you'll notice that I've also got some hardware here, because originally this project was uh, designed to control GPIO devices connected to the uh, Pi, and uh, we can see that operating as well. Now, I've set up a user on the Pi, uh, which is called... Um, uh, my RPI. So if I just press that and we'll go in there. I've cleared the history so that there's nothing happened so far. Let's just see whether it's going to talk to us. And uh, one of the commands it will respond to is the word ping and it should hopefully send back Pong. Now I'm going to move the screen to the side. I'm using um, my iPad to film and uh, it's a bit difficult one-handed so I'm going to just look at that while I type in here the word um, ping. Uh, there we are, hopefully. Yes, oops, I've got an H in the end. Let's just delete that and put a G in. The word ping, and we're going to send that to the Raspberry Pi. And it comes back straight away with the word pong, which you can see on the screen there. And if we look over at the um, terminal window here, you can see that it's my, my Pi has received um, from Robin Newman, that's me, um, a command word, which is ping. And uh, further down in green, it's sending back the answer, Paul. So all well and good. Now we've got quite a lot of commands that this will respond to. And uh, we'll first of all just uh, do one of the lead commands. So let me just uh, type in here, um, lead on both. You can see that's the command there. And if I actually look at the LEDs which are down there, and 3, 2, 1, press the send button, and both the LEDs go on. And you can see that we get a message back saying that that has actually happened. And the LEDs are both on. Something a bit more audible, working up to Sonic Pi. Let's send the word buzz, which is there. And you'll notice that there's a buzzer down here. So when we send that, and we can look at the uh, camera to do that because uh, we'll hear the answer. There we are, five beeps on the buzzer. And it tells us that the buzzer alert has been sent. OK, well, to me, the really exciting thing was not so much the control side of this, uh, which I actually had done uh, yesterday, but uh, what the work I've done today to enable it to use this command line interface for Sonic Pi. That's the reason that we need to be using the graphical user interface because Sonic Pi has to be running. Uh, this is just a sort of add-on gem um, which uh, lets you do that. And uh, I've got a configuration file for um, the Telegram program which simply parses the commands that are sent and if it gets one that it recognises then it acts on it. And there's quite a lot of them. Um, let's just type in list list all there. You can see that and we'll send that and you can see that there's quite a lot of commands. I've split them up into two sections. Um, the uh, top section Sonic Pi community music commands. It will respond to Bach, Ocean, Bells, Peel, Earl and SP stop, stop which stops Sonic Pi from playing. So let's start off with some music. Uh, we'll perhaps start off with uh, some Bach which I'm very partial to. We'll type in the word Bach here um, there we are, there's the word Bach typed in, and we'll send that, and it tells us that Bach is playing, and after a pause, indeed, we can hear a nice Bach uh, prelude coming out of the speakers there. 
Well, Bach may not be to your taste, so we won't let that run for very long. We'll actually come back to the uh, phone here and we'll put in the command uh, SP stop and send that here. Oops, press the wrong button. Send that and hopefully it stops uh, Sonic Pi from playing. Tells you that there and we get the message sent back to the screen here telling us that it stopped playing. Well, um, if I perhaps scroll down a little bit, you can see the other commands that we had there for Sonic Pi. Um, let's look at the command ocean and type that in. See what that does. O C E A N. Um, oops, can't spell. It's very difficult to type one handed when you've got a phone down on the floor and uh, on the table, rather, and uh, you're trying to hold a camera at the same time. Let's put it in like that. Ocean. And we'll send that. And it says ocean waves are playing. This is actually one of the examples. Excuse the noises off. I've just got a fan heater that's turned on. Let me move back and turn it off. There we are. And after a pause, there we are. We can hear our ocean waves coming. This is one of the example scripts which is um, in Sonic Pi. Okay. Let's uh, move back and stop that because this runs continuously, which is why we need to have the stop command there to actually stop things running because otherwise we'll be there for the duration. So SP and we'll pick it up from the shortcuts down the bottom there, send that and that will stop the uh, stop that from playing. Uh, remind ourselves of the um, commands further up the top. We've had bark and ocean. Let's try um, bells next. Um, so we'll come down here and we'll type in uh, B E L L S. Oops, got quite wrong. B E L L S. And we'll send that Sonic Pi. And it says Haunted Bells playing, which is another of the examples which is in Sonic Pi. And here you can hear the bells just playing there. Okay, so that's playing back here, and we'll stop that from playing. SP stop. Oops, that's wrong. That's got a capital in. That was the first version, but I changed it to have a lowercase letter. SP P sorry by S T O P. Okay, that's what we want. Stop that from playing. And I put Sonic Pi Stope. It won't work unless you get the command right. S P S T. There we are, it's come out that time. Send it. And that stopped. And um, if we look further up here, we've got one or two further commands. We can have a peal of bells, we could have the uh, um, a galliard by Dowland. Uh, those are the two pieces remaining. Let's start off with a peal of bells. I like this. Um, this is actually using a sample based voice and it plays a quarter peal of bells. We won't have it running all the time because it takes 15 minutes to, uh, to complete. You can see there a peal of church bells playing and here they go. You can hear the sampled bells and this is playing an accurate quarter peal of bells which I got off a website about uh, all about campanology. Uh, it's quite a, a, an involved art and lots of programs written about it just to uh, document the various peels that you can get. And then let's just uh, stop that again. And then finally, we'll play the last one, which is um, Earl, I think. Uh, yes, I put it, did I put it as Earl or as Essex? Yeah, I put it in as Earl, Earl of Essex Galliard. So let's uh, just send that to Sonic Pi. This is just the standard Telegram app for the uh, iPhone that we're using here. And here it goes playing. stop that
So we've got our own uh, sort of jukebox of Sonic Pi tunes controlled remotely by an iPhone. I hope you like the project. Um, I will write it up more fully uh, in time. There's one or two rough edges and as I say it's uh, just a very first release of this Sonic Pi um, uh, command line um, interface and I found uh, one or two little uh, quirks with it but I think we'll be able to get those uh, sorted out. In fact, one of the most difficult bits was actually getting it to um, boot into the GUI and to run the program uh, straight off. Um, perhaps just finally, if I uh, stop this from running, which we can do by stopping the uh, app on the Mac, or on the Raspberry Pi, by typing quit, and it uh, quits that. Uh, if I spell it right, Q U I T. Let's quit it that time. And because of the way it started, that uh, window it actually gets rid of it um, when it started. It's actually started um, and run automatically when we go into the GUI. But if we start up another terminal here, um, then we can see the bulk of the programs, not very many of them that are there. Um, there is uh, one called Startup, um, uh, there's a Startup uh, Off and a Startup On, which just switches on whether it automatically starts or not when you boot. Um, there is the RPI control.lua file, which contains the parsing of all the files that we're using, and the Telegraph um, uh, CLI um, binary is actually just called, it's in the path, so you just have to type uh, dot telegram uh, dash CLI and then minus s rpi control dot lua and that gets the whole thing going. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief foray into using um, the program Telegram to control Sonic Pi for the command line. I'm very excited about it and I think it's uh, um, the foretaste of things to come because there will be further work on interface with Sonic Pi, I'm sure. Thank you for watching.